Tony, Tony Hinchcliffe is a um, comedian. Um, he's he's on the, the 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 Kill Tony podcast or the Kill Tony. I guess it's a podcast too, but it's a show in in Los Angeles that uh, Joe Rogan um, or not Joe Rogan, but Joe Rogan like alumni all kind of go to, and basically the Kill Tony people do edgy jokes right um shane gillis is a a a pretty like a routine guy there or i don't know if he's routine i just keep seeing fucking it might only just been one time when he dressed up like trump i guess (laughs) um but you see like the whole you know tom segura i think pops by here and there burt kreischer that whole fucking crew and the whole thing is based on like uh kind of like insult comedy it's okay. Um, Tony Hinchcliffe lives deep inside of his ass. Uh, deep, deep, deep inside of his ass. I'm not going to say he's like an unfunny comedian. Not my... Not... He's not my kind of comedy. Um, and it's not like like I don't like him politically or anything. Uh, it's just whatever the fuck it is about him, when his delivery is not great. Bill Burr is pretty much my like favorite living comedian. And then... Um, Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill's funny as shit. And so, like, uh, a Kill Tony is is what it is. I, I don't know. I've never really enjoyed it all that much. I'm not just saying this to, like, be fucking ass mad about it or anything. It's just, it's something I just really fucking, I really just don't enjoy it that much. Um, but the other day, uh, Tony Hinchcliffe, I think I'm actually, was it last night now? Um, did an appearance at the fucking Donald Trump uh, MAGA rally, I think, at Madison Square Garden. It's a little bit of a dubious honor to open for a Republican president as a as a fucking stand-up comic. It's pretty fucking funny. Um, at Madison Square Garden. I don't know if Hinchcliffe has performed Madison Square Garden before. Probably. Uh, he's pretty big. But during his performance, he made a very, very, like, nasty joke towards Puerto Rico. He said... Um, uh, you know, and I'm never going to deliver the guy's joke. If you want to try to see if it's funny to you, go look it up on its own. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be the guy that just like blank reads someone else's fucking joke. And it's like, this can't be funny. I just didn't think it was that funny anyway. Um, yeah. Did you guys hear about this massive, uh, swell uh, or s- this massive swell of trash in the ocean? I guess people are calling it Puerto Rico or something like that is, is how the, the joke essentially goes. And um not not fucking great (laughs) not a great look um and not a particularly great uh not a particularly great joke there's a few reasons for this um first off is it's racist you know what i mean whatever fuck calling calling fucking puerto rico a trash a shithole basically you know a trash pile in the middle of the ocean is i i i I guess you're just making fun of Puerto Ricans. I don't know why you, why you said that. Um, it's not like it, it's not like it was followed up. I don't think with some like acknowledgement that you know, um, post hurricane disaster relief for Puerto Rico has been delayed for years now, and like they're still struggling to rebuild. It's not like it led into uh, you know. It, it's not at the conference of people that are collected to respect Puerto Rico's potential sovereignty or statehood. You know, it's the fucking it, it's basically the rnc on steroids you're you're at the fuck you're in the heart of the beast for a lot of um for a lot of anti-puerto rico um sentiment but more to the point not all puerto ricans are necessarily like democrats right um and not all latinos don't share or I'll just put it in, in a more cleanly said way um, a lot of Latinos that are conservative are still sensitive to anti-Latino sentiment, which anti-Puerto Rico sentiment is a part of, right? Um, th- there's not a lot of people <laughs> that bring up Puerto Rico, um, especially on the right side of things, in, in a wholly positive light. And so usually that's kind of left for the the, the, the conservative Puerto Ricans to bring up. Um, but additionally, additionally, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans, um, in New York and in Florida, um, which are both like areas that you need to get the vote. Um, and in Florida, um, Latinos, um, account for a pretty significant chunk of the conservative vote, right? Not like a no one's there, but you know, votes are won by pretty narrow margins, even in guaranteed States. You know, it's not like we have a lot of states where you get like a 95 to five sometimes even when it's like okay this is a guaranteed red win it's guaranteed but it's guaranteed at 54 
to like 45, you know what I mean, percent, which is not the best margin possible when that margin also is like, you know, comprised of a, a total of 15 to 25,000 people. And that's not necessarily the case in, in Florida, but this blew up on Tony Hinchcliffe and it's still kind of blowing up because like I said, um, even conservative Latinos understand that anti-Latino sentiment is bad, right? And maybe some of them will come out and stump for you, but there's a lot of Republican politicians too who are like, hey, don't fucking be racist on the main stage when we're trying to get this president elected um, and, and then like call out fucking Puerto Rico. Like, and they can't do anything about it because also like you're kind of drawing attention to the fact that everything that's bad that's happening to Puerto Rico is largely because it's a fucking colonialized or a, a colonized, um, uh, you know, fucking sea or a colonized island um, sub. How the fuck do you even say that? Uh, God damn it. I'm, I'm stumbling so fucking hard over explaining it. It's a, 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 a colonial... Um, project on our on our part right they're 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 literally a colony of america or or some other whatever the fuck you want to call it like american samoa and stuff are um but they're they're held by america they're controlled by the american government but they don't have equitable representation they are literally taxed <laughs> without representation of any significant value um they don't have a senatorial position which makes it like who gives a fuck even if you get some house seats or something like that or some pity from the house, you're not represented, but you still, um, you're still American. There are Americans. You're, you're an American citizen if you're born in Puerto Rico, but you don't get the vote. Not really. You get a, some kind of vote, but you don't get to vote for a fucking Senator that represents your area. Then fuck you. You know what I mean? Um, and so like bringing any attention to that fact is also bad. So like when it comes to, you know, getting handouts and shit and disaster relief, they're part of the American system. They're part of the American coffers, FEMA and all that shit. But they don't have someone in the Senate stumping for them. They don't have a significant house representation or a house representation that is anywhere relevant to their true population um, stumping for it. They can't do a Joe Man. They don't have a Joe Manchin. I'll explain it that way. They don't have a Joe Manchin. They don't have someone when you're like, I fucking hate Joe Manchin. No, if you're in West Virginia, you might not like him, but sometimes you're like, fucking, okay, fucking Joe Manchin. Because at least you have a senator who can play the game and get between you and and uh funding you know what i mean and push that funding in your direction you know what i mean or get between the funding and the general american populace and and, and drag some in your direction by cutting deals with the president by cutting deals with other senators by cutting deals with representatives by adding things and subtracting things and arguing for things you can't pass laws if you're if you're a, if you're a puerto rican and you pay taxes and you serve in the american military a lot of puerto ricans serve in the american military uh people were sharing the stat on twitter that there was something like 58 thousand uh or forty eight thousand total puerto ricans that served in like vietnam right and and uh, a representative amount of casualties that went along with that because if you're not if you if you don't pass the paper bag test in the right direction you are going to probably be pushed towards infantry or combat arms in a general sense so shout out puerto rico and uh puerto rican service members but you can serve in the military and all that shit, and you just don't have the rights as an Amer that the same rights that an American does. Even if they're like you have some or you have like some reasonable amount, you don't. And a lot of the reasons that fucking Puerto Rico is fucked up right now, and it is, it's in a bad situation. Economically, they can't do any. They, they have a fucked up trade agreement. They have a fucked up taxation agreement. They have a fucked up inability to make their own decisions about their own land. It, it, it's bad all around. I cannot explain to you guys. I'm looking at the fucking light and not the camera. Um, I can I can't explain to you guys um, in in the time we have. You know uh, how like screwed Puerto Rico gets. But I've been there. I've been to old San Juan. I've hung out um, and chilled. It's a fucking beautiful place. You know what I mean. Go to Puerto Rico. Spend your tourism dollars there. If you're an American, you can go to Puerto Rico without a passport. Don't go and buy fucking white people property on the beach and lock the public beaches off from the people. That That's what everyone in Puerto Rico hates. They don't give a fuck that you're white. If you go down there and spend some fucking money, they're like, okay, cool. Yeah, we need that in our economy because we can't do a lot of shit because we're locked into all these things. Uh, not being able to farm giant chunks of it, uh, big chunks of the off of the good islands off the shore of Puerto Rico are used for uh, American bombing practice and stuff. It's a whole fucking thing. I, like, I literally just can't even get into all of it. And they don't have that much of a say. And so if you're at the Republican convention and you have even any like conservative Puerto Ricans in your base, 
right? You're going to want to say like, hey, uh, you know, we're, we're thinking of you. We're, we're, we're defending the conservative ideals that you hold dear as, as Christian Americans, which you, the people of Puerto Rico are, and you people of Puerto Rican descent um, and Puerto Rican, not expatriates, but, or immigrants even, but just f people that have moved from ostensibly a state that doesn't get states' rights to an actual state in America, you know? Um, and there are people that consider themselves of Puerto Rican descent, Boricuas and fucking Taino people. And that, that's a whole nother other con goddamn conversation as well. But, you know, if you're just trying to like get the, Hey, you know, you're a conservative, right? You're a conservative. You like conservative shit. You like fucking, uh, Catholicism or, uh, some sort of extant Christianity. And like, maybe you're like weirded out by gays and trans and you're like, I, we kind of spooked you. Maybe you want lower taxes cause you moved here a while ago. Cool. Right. Yeah. All right. You can get that. But then like you go to there and you're like, okay, cool. You know, maybe we'll probably just ignore the plight of the Puerto Rican people. Um, and I can, I can live with that. And, you know, other, other Latino conservatives are probably there as well. But then, you know, when you're going to get the tax write-offs and shit, but then you just hear somebody be completely dismissive of the situation on the ground in Puerto Rico and call it a fucking swirling trash heap in the middle of the ocean, you can get pretty fucking pissed off about that. People will take it uh, personally because it's about them because they're, they're people. And the funniest thing about this entire fucking debacle is Tony Hinchcliffe is trying to say like, oh, anti-woke people, anti-woke people are the ones that are upset about this. It's the anti-wokes or the woke people. Sorry. The woke people are, are upset about this. It's these fucking, these, these pussy Dems. And then you see the fucking, uh, the condemnations and one of them's fu Rick fucking Scott. <laughs> the fucking, um, uh, the, I believe Rick Scott's the Senator from Florida. Uh, one of Florida's senators and a series of other politicians that are calling it out and shit, you know, um, and, and as well, they should. And I'm, I'm not ironically glad to see that from the Republicans, regardless of how callous their motives are. Um, and, and maybe sometimes in, in some respects, they're not, but that's just such a fucking absurd and like disgraceful thing to bring, to bring to a, uh, uh, in our, uh, not in the RNC, I keep saying that, but to, uh, MAGA convention, a, a gathering, a mass gathering of Republicans, particularly because he was also in New York City, which has a sizable Puerto Rican population, a, a very much not negligible um, population of Puerto Ricans. And so if there are like Latino um, or, or Latin, if you want to do that stuff, I always just say Latino um, or Latina if I'm sp specifically talking about a woman. Um, population, you know, if you're a conservative, you very, very likely there's a good possibility that, you know, if you're not Cuban, you're, you're Puerto Rican. And so you're going to be there and you're like, why the fuck are you talking about Puerto Rico? It's like a trash swell in the middle of the fucking ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like you can tease coastal elite cities, right? You can say like Democrat cities are bad, but there's a very strong possibility. I think that fucking Tony Hinchcliffe doesn't know that Puerto Rico is America. Like, I think he might not know that he's talking about Americans. Um, which is not good. You, you can talk about populations in America. You know what I mean? You can talk about um, Democrats or liberals. You know what I mean? You can talk about like even like kind of borderline hyper misogynistic. I don't know why I say borderline, but misogynistic, but like um, still directed at a type of person and not like a, 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 a whole people, you know, like a crazy cat lady type shit. You can even do that as a Republican, but to say an entire island full of literal American citizens and service members that comes along with that and some politicians and conservatives and liberals and whoever the fuck else, just to say that that entire subsection of America is a swirling trash pile in the ocean is nuts. Uh, it's just such a bad fucking look. And it's like, you should be embarrassed. It, it's not... If I was a Republican, and a lot of Republicans are saying this, like many Republicans are saying this, um, I would say that that's a disgraceful and disgusting thing to say about Americans r when we're trying to ostensibly say like Kamala Harris and Joe Biden aren't trying to bring Americans together. I'm going to call an entire island full of legitimately packed full of kind of disenfranchised brown skinned Americans a shithole, a, a fucking trash swirl in the middle of the ocean. Um, I think Senator X governor. Yeah. Yeah. Rick Scott, known woke person. Um, but, um, 
And I'll, I'll, I'll take some commentary after this. What, you live in this shit hole? <laughs> it's not very nice. Hey, look, fucking uh, Alex Yek is also Tony Hinchcliffe. Um, wow, I, now I want to comment on this fucking game. I, I want to talk about this game like incessantly. I don't even know if I'm going to cover all of the politics shit going forward. Um, but ultimately, like, yeah, it, it was, it's, it's very bad that um, he said it, obviously. But even if you don't want to, like, moralize and uh, get woke about it, like notorious wokey <laughs> Rick fucking Scott, um, I think actually DeSantis said something about it as well. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but just as a strict political maneuver, having this guy take the stage and having just not vetted his 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 jokes not vetted what he's going to say to some degree you don't have to like say like hey i want to know your entire set you should unironically if you're bringing any if you're bringing anybody on stage at a political event um you should have every word that they're going to say uh pre-planned if you can have it and if you can't you should strongly strongly fucking consider cutting that person um you can hate that if you want but it, it's not a it's not a free speech event it's a political fucking rally um, but do I not just vetted him and understood that he was going to possibly say something that f absurd and then not have the ability to basically like take him aside before he got on Twitter and quadrupled down on it and started calling Republican die hard conservative Republican politicians, essentially, uh, wokies for not getting his joke and stuff. And even if he didn't call them that directly, that's what he's saying. People, the people that didn't get it, you just don't understand. Yeah, you're taking this out of context. I'm a comedian. I'm trying to push boundaries. Like, I don't know what boundary you're pushing. <laughs> but you could have said it literally. It's a fucking Republican event. You could have said literally any fucking, any fucking other island nation in the, the, the Bahama fucking, um, Baham, Bahamanian, I can't remember, the Caribbean. I, I can't remember exactly what that subsection is called. You could have said uh, you could have said that racist shit about any one of those islands. You could have said it about fucking uh, DR Haiti. You could have said it about Cuba. Uh, no, you couldn't have. You couldn't have said it about Cuba. Probably you would have probably gotten in trouble for calling Cuba that too. Um, but you could probably at least said it about like fucking Haiti and the DR, which people don't give a shit about, um, or or some other fucking unknown place. Uh, you could have called uh, f some other island that we're at enemies with. A trash heap but like you did it to puerto rico of all f of all fucking places <laughs> what a gigantic and insane mistake to make because there's no way it doesn't just come off first off racist and second off just ignorant of the the political situation that you're entering into as is ostensibly now a conservative i think it's just fucking crazy uh that you fucked up that bad and is still fucking up um as far as i know before i started this i'm not gonna look up his I, I i don't care that he fucked up like that is nuts. Hope you enjoyed your time on.